Okay, so I've noticed the trend over the years. The more effort I put into the intro, the more likely it is that we're to lose the game. So, this is the intro. Intro. You ready? Here we go. Hey, get it. I don't believe it. <laughs> Let's go Panthers. Let's go Panthers. Let's go Panthers. Let's go. Here we go, right? Panther fans, see? Panther jersey, Panther hat, no lightning jersey, nothing avalanche, nothing rangers, okay? I'm just, I'm, I'm in the full regalia tonight, you know what I mean? So, if we ever going to do it, Panthers, if we was ever going to be the team to take out the best regular season team in NHL history, this is, this right here, this game tonight, in the next three hours, this is when it happens. Still no Bergeron. Olmark was a game-time decision. He's playing. Some people say he's sick. Some people say he's injured. Some people say Swayman is sick. But Olmark's out there. They've changed their lines all around. Raven's not too happy with that. You should never know. When you change your lines, it's, it's Russian roulette. Could work, could not. Meanwhile, Anthony Duclair is still on the lineup, in the lineup, at the third line with Anton Lundell. So like I said, Lundell was like, all right, who's playing like ass? Put him down there with Lundell. Remember, whenever Reinhardt couldn't cut it on the top line, throw him down there with Lundell. Now it's Duke. He's not cutting it. Throw him down there with Lundell. That might have a little bit to do with the reason why Lundell's not exactly been developing at the pace this season that we'd like him to develop. Some of it. Some of that is that, okay? You saw what he was last year. Had the same line mates almost every night. Look at how he played. Now, he gets whatever right winger is struggling and whatever left winger we think might kind of be a top nine guy, but really isn't. I love Ryan Lomberg. Don't get me wrong, okay? So, we're winning games. We're winning games, and that's what matters. Now, Health-wise, seems like we're pretty much good to go. Lion is in. Bob is obviously still not in. Kind of, I'm feeling less and less bad for Bob because at this point, Alex Lyon is just, he's, he's, the, the team is taking on the personality of Lion, Kachuk, Bennett. It's like, got nothing to lose. We got nothing to lose, man. You know what I mean? So, what do I, four, two Panthers. I'm going with 4-2 Panthers, and um, sure, why not? Now, game one, I sent 5-4, and somebody called me delusional in the comments for thinking the Panthers could score five goals. <laughs> so I'm going with 4-2 tonight. This is not going to be a repeat of game two, okay? Game two was its own, it, savor that one, okay? Savor that. The Bruins are not just going to come out here and they ain't gonna feel, they're gonna, I don't know what they're going to do, okay? We've, what we did was, it's a hornet's nest, all right? And we sprayed it with bleach. And then, and then when the hornets attacked us, we had a giant vacuum cleaner. And when the hornets came at us, we sucked up all the hornets. But it was a shop vac. So all the hornets, you hear them alive in the shop, okay? Flying around the shop vac, all right? What's fixing to happen out there tonight is somebody's going to take that shop back from the upper deck of the arena and throw it out there on the ice, and all the Hornets are going to come loose, and who the hell knows what's going to happen and who's going to get stung, and where they're going to get stung. Yeah, so still, I still say 4-2 Panthers, but it could get nasty chippy. I expect, as this goes on, remember that Panthers-Lightning series a couple years ago? I... I, I it's going to be fun. Could we do us a favor, though? Yes, well, it's TNT tonight. Could, could we not with the hot mics? Could we just not, right? Because then 
they do the thing, and then people say the thing, and then I say the thing because the people say the thing, and then people say the thing to me because I said the thing, because those people said the thing. It's exhausting, but it is what it is. Four two Panthers tonight. Of uh, I've said that a couple of times. Three. I'm going to give you three. I'm going to give you three. Barkoff, Ekblad, and Mahura. Huh? Okay. Barkoff, Ekblad, Mahura. Big games tonight. They're going to be involved. I don't know why I feel that. The puppets, the puppets are whispering in my ear. That's why I'm so distracted. I'm not nervous. You're not nervous. I'm not going to be sweating. I'm not going to be palpitating. Nothing. This is easy peasy, right? Uh -huh. Let's move on and see what happens. Hey! It's one nothing Boston after one. Now, that period wasn't bad. It wasn't good for either team. It wasn't bad. It was a very evenly matched period. With the exception of Alex Lyon gave up Another one of those goals that he'd like to have back. Um, glove side, I think it deflected like off the top of his wrist. And in. We've had some opportunities. We're doing that thing where we're shooting it into the belly of the goalie. It's okay. I, I'm just stressed. This is a stressful game. We came out, we really were really looked look good. And then we gave up that goal and it took kind of some of the air out of the out of the players the building is not exactly loud it's not terrible um but they need to be louder they need to be louder these guys they need a little bit they're a little bit tight you can see that they're a little bit stressed boston has given us no room whatsoever crazy is out also by the way so no birds run no crazy we should be we need to win this game we need to win this game now i know boston's deep um Damn it. This game's going to kill me. All right. We'll move on to the second period. Let's get a goal. And, and don't let them get any, by the way. Okay. It's 2 nothing Boston. Now, normally, normally I will save my apoplectic anger management rants for the post game also many times when i lose my shit during the game the team immediately does something to make me look stupid for losing my shit i've accepted that i embrace that because if i'm pissed because they're doing bad and they do the opposite that's fine that's fine if I'm directing some sort of negativity at a satellite in the air and it's somehow rebounding onto the arena and going through some kind of filter to where my bullshit makes them do better, fine by me. Now, we fired Andrew Brunette because of the bad power play, because no adjustments. It's worse. Now, I'm not sitting here saying fire Paul Maurice. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is... How... How hard can it be? I wasn't sure if I was going to scream and expletive-laden just... But I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet because we might still... Make a game of this. But how hard can it be to not completely lose whatever little bit of momentum you might have when you get the power play? Like, we look like ass. Boston is good. Okay, I know they don't have Bergeron, I know they have Krejci, but Boston is good. They've got plenty of depth. Remember us last year, Panther fans? So Boston is good. They're not giving us any room to move at all. And if it wasn't for the one weak goal that we gave up, it'd be one nothing, and we Okay, I don't like the fact that we're not shooting, but Boston is not allowing us to have these opportunities. Oh, okay. I, I can live with losing in a game to Boston in this fashion in the sense that they've been doing this all year. They're good. But what I'm sick and tired of is when we get the penalty, we're getting the power play, and we cringe because, oh, God, 
And sure enough, the best chance of the night just came and Alex Lyons saved our ass. It would have been shorthanded. Again, why are we so much worse with the man advantage? There's only one. There's literally only one explanation for when a team is worse with the man advantage. And it's something like this. Something like that. The mental fortitude of these guys. Where where are we? Bark off. Who? What? Huh? What? Okay, this dude. This dude is playing better than the 16 on the ice. At least he's holding the puck still. Have you noticed that? The puck hasn't moved. He's definitely got possession of that puck. Okay? And even though he's surrounded by puppets trying to take the puck, He's still managing to hold on to the puck. Now, in real life, all somebody has to do is come over and go, and they can take the puck away. Big, huge, strong, hulking guy. In the regular season, you can't get the puck away from him to save your life. Postseason comes, no problem. A little elbow to the shoulder. Oh, jeez, I lost the puck again. Year after year after year after year. The reason why it's still 2-0 or only 2 nothing. it's because of a few ridiculously good saves by Alex Lyon, and Ryan Lomberg coming back on a, on a back check on a 2-on-0, and coming from behind and taking the puck. Verhage made a terrible turnover that led to a goal. We're doing the cross-ice pass thing in our own zone, and I get, I get they're frustrated because of Boston. I, 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 I get that, but this is terrible. The crowd tried to get into it for about 30 seconds. Let's go, Panthers. Oh, they didn't score. Okay, we stop. That's embarrassing. Boston's good. Boston is good. You can't give up a weak goal so early on in the game. That hurt us. I'm not saying put Bob in because we've seen plenty of times where Bob will give up an early weak goal. But it's just, I don't care who's in that. It, it can't happen. It should have been a scoreless first period. Like, that was the definition of a period that should have been a scoreless first period. Now, that said, we're lucky it's only 2 nothing because they had multiple chances. I mean, Lion is sliding over here. And he, you notice this. Lion is sliding to the left and sliding to the right and sliding to the left and sliding to the right and making saves and making saves. And Omar is just like, he ain't having to move. He ain't having to move. <sighs> oh, this team is going to kill me, people. <sighs> All right. It's 2 nothing. The next goal, obviously, if it becomes 3 nothing, just forget it. Okay. Um, but game one, it was 2-1, and we couldn't, we couldn't get the goal. We can't get a goal. We can't get a decent chance. And when we do shoot the puck, it's right into his damn belly. I'm not blaming this on Maurice. And the reason why I'm not blaming this on Maurice is because it, this, is, this is the same problems. It's the same cast of characters disappearing in the playoffs. Where the hell is Matthew Kachuk tonight? Bennett is, is still the best player on the ice, playing probably with a half a leg. Okay? Ekblad, I'm not sure if he's hurt or not. He went back to the locker room, I think they said a second time. All right, we're going to move on into our period. I'm holding back. There's a there's a there's a monster inside. I'm holding back. I know Boston's good. I'm gonna try to hold this together, but this team is killing me with just the inability to play some of the most basic. So, move on to third period. Four to Boston. Now, before I get going here, because you guys know I never know what's going to come out of my mouth. It's not like these things are scripted. 
the prediction that the Panthers would win this series in seven games is still in the Jossum shot glass. Still there. First things first. This is my opinion. The reason why they pulled Lyon is because they figured him out with the glove side. His glove is clearly weak. That's three goals he's given up glove side this, this series that have had an effect on the series. There's no way around that. He's also made some tremendous saves that kept us in. So I am not sitting here saying we should have started with Bob because there's no guarantee that Bob makes all of those saves either. And we've seen Bob give up goals where he's off his angle. So my opinion is that once Lyon gave up that third glove side goal, Maurice figures they've got him figured out. They're going to keep abusing that glove side. you got to get Bob out there now on the ice to get him into a game so that you start Bob game four. And the Alex Lyon story most likely, most likely has come to a close in terms of this playoffs in this series because the only way he really sees the ice again unless Bob gets hurt is if Bob does poorly, which at that point we probably are already done in the series anyway. So I know some people on the stream were disappointed that Lyon was in, was removed from the game. That's going to protect him just as much as it's going to protect the Panthers. Gets Bob in there, got him some action. He made some nice saves. He gave up the one goal. Um, he looked ready to go for game four. And he's pretty much the only one that looks ready to go for game four. So we're going to get into that. Now, um, again, this is a reaction to this game. It's a, it's a recap. It's a reaction to this game. So I can be absolutely absurdly pissed off and emotional about what I just witnessed while still having faith that they're going to get it together and knowing that they have the ability to beat this team. Now, before I get into all the garbage about the Panthers, let's be honest, the Bruins broke the regular season record for a reason. They're good, they're deep. They did this to us tonight without Bergeron and without Krejci. Now, I'm also mindful of the fact that we played without Ekblad the second half of the game and Morohara apparently got hurt. But that ain't why we lost this game. Now, why we lost this game, there's a lot of different reasons. But I'll start at the end, because at the end, when we got a couple of goals, and we got a goal, we got a couple, all of a sudden, you saw the lights came back on. All that energy. Now, before I say that, why didn't they play that the whole way, somebody's going to say they can't play that way the whole game. You don't have the energy for that. Nobody can keep that up for 60 minutes. Okay, but it was only 2 nothing to start the third period. You're telling me we can't play one period of energetic balls to all hockey the way we did there in the last five minutes? Horse shit. Of course we can. But why didn't they? And that's the question. That's the question. Because you go down that lineup, and I'm going to say, Duke, he can't shoot anywhere other than to in the belly of the goalie. But I, I suspect Duke might have led us in shots tonight. If not, he was pretty close to it. It's not like we had a lot of shots. But certainly before that flurry in the end, Duke had had multiple chances. He looked better. I saw him make a couple of hits tonight. And the reason why I'm bringing him up is because in contrast, he wasn't nearly the worst player on the ice tonight by far. Not by a long shot. Now, Barkoff did his normal defensive thing, except for um, not boxing out his man and allowing him to stand right in front of uh, a lion and deflect the goal, which I believe was the second goal. I believe it was the second goal. Yeah, yeah, because the third one was the glove side. So it was the second goal. Barkoff let his man stand right behind him, Attach to Lion and deflect the puck. So the normal thing where Barkov doesn't have to score because he plays great defense and everything, that only counts if you don't let 
your man stand right in front of the goalie and deflect the puck. Because I don't know if you guys were watching the same game I was watching, but every time one of our guys got in front of Allmark, they got obliterated and put their ass on the ground. All night long I was watching Reinhardt, Kachuk, and Bennett pick themselves up off the ground because they were trying to even just get into the slot area. Forget about getting near the crease. Just getting in between the circles. The Bruins were just knocking them on their ass to get the hell out of here. So, Mark off. I'm not going to, how can I put this? No matter what I say about Barkov, people are going to say I'm being too hard on him or I'm not being hard enough on him. So I'm not going to belabor that point. The dude disappears from the playoffs. I think, I think if we can't agree on that, whether you think I'm too hard on him or too easy on him, the dude disappears every playoffs. All of them. Just disappears. Just gone. And what I said in the other intermission is true, and I don't understand it. Because during the year, we've seen him, those of us who watch the Panther games, we've seen him go into the corner with the puck and knows how to use his body and his size to shield the puck and not have it get taken away so he can distribute the puck to maybe a Montour that's coming in or a Verhage or whatnot, okay? But as soon as the playoffs come... He completely loses the ability to do that, and all a guy has to do is come shove him, and he loses the puck. Every year, it's not improving at all. This is who the guy is. He, there's no light that's going to come on. He's not going to wake up. He's not going to figure it out. None of those things. This is who he is. Okay, so then we have to have other guys around him that are going to do the job because he's going to do his job of playing the one of the best or if not the best two-way centermen in the league he's most of the time going to play really well on defense but if you ask him to box a guy out in front of the net that is putting him into a position where he is going to fail okay so in part you know maybe it should have been a defender and not bark off in front of the net but that's that's splitting atoms at this point. So Barkov did his playoff thing. Now, Matthew Kachuk has a goal in this series. Otherwise, especially tonight, has been kind of crickets. Kind of invisible. I wasn't even seeing him running around, laying the wood on anybody tonight, Mr. Swagger. Come on now. Bennett showed up tonight far more then Kachuk did. Okay. What else do we got? <sighs> the Bruins are good, people. Okay? The Bruins are good. Now, I'm not expecting Colin White and Eric Stahl and Ryan Lomberg and Nick Cousins and these guys to be superstars out there on the ice. Okay? But at the same time, the energy and the effort wasn't there until the game was over at 4 nothing, And then at that point, who knows if our burst of energy was just simply a byproduct of Boston going, ah, all right, you know, them taking their foot off the gas just a little bit. That's all it takes in the playoffs is taking your foot off the gas just a wee bit, and the desperate team is going to get a goal or two. So, we won game two, which is what is saving us right now from Sunday being a possible elimination game. Now, I know that that sounds hyperbolic, and somebody reminded me on the stream that the Capitals had a two games to one series lead against us as well last year. Now, Bruins ain't exactly the Capitals. But the point still stands. Go out there Sunday if Bob can be Vesna Bob. 
if Lucas Carlson or Benning can replace Ekblad. I don't know who's going to replace Mahara. We've got some injuries there, issues. If, if it's a concussion for Ekblad, I mean, it kind of looked like he hit his head. I don't know what, you know, he even held his head. So that poor kid, um, he's been through the ringer. And again, this, this all comes down to a situation where we're depending on guys that consistently let us down in the postseason. We're good enough to get here, but Barkov disappears. Ekblad gets hurt. Now, Kachuk, the Calgary Flames fans warned us. They said he disappears he's, you know, in the playoffs. Now, last year he had 10 points in 12 games. So that's not exactly disappearing. He had, I think it was six goals and four assists, or that might be reversed. But he had 10 points in 12 games. It's not exactly disappearing. Um, and he's not playing poorly, but... If the other team is going to match his intensity, his intensity doesn't stand out as much. And he's not getting in front of the net. And we're not taking enough, enough shots when there is somebody in front of the net. And that's the other thing. We were halfway through the game. I think we had 12 shots. That's not good enough. You've got to and just shoot. Now, I understand you don't always want... To just take a shot to take it. And I get the fact that Boston was blocking some shots. Okay, that's fine. But when you're playing a game like this, it's going to be dirty, tricky, fluky goals for the most part. Okay, unless your goalie gets beat glove side twice because he kind of is who he is. Okay, and that's not a knock on Lion. He's played fantastic for us. But let's face it, two of those goals, if Bob let those goals in, we would be screaming. Okay, let's let's be honest here, okay? If Bob or Spencer Knight had given up that first early goal, we would be apoplectic. Okay? Lion has done a fantastic job. I think he's got a future somewhere in this league, but his glove needs some work. Okay. So then you look at it defensively, and what's, what's a shame here is we really didn't play all that poorly defensively. The first goal, I mean, we, we had, let me rewind that. We had some defensive breakdowns, and unfortunately, the couple of defensive breakdowns we did have all ended up in the back of the net for the most part. Now, Lyon made some really good saves, but that wasn't necessarily defensive breakdowns as much as it was we can't clear the freaking puck out of our zone <coughs> because Boston is being enormously aggressive on our guys because they're playing tight and not playing smart, and we're still trying to do these short little choppy cross eyes passes in the middle of our own zone, and it ain't working. <sighs> so, it's 2-1. Again, like somebody on the stream said, that's the exact same position we were in with Washington last year. So I'm not going to sit here and say it's over. Now, you lose Sunday. If we go down 3-1, I don't think we're going to go into Boston, okay, and beat them in game five in Boston. And not, we got to win Sunday. You win Sunday, it's 2-2. Two -two. You win, you, you lose game five in Boston, you win game six in Florida, and then it goes back to Boston for seven games, just like I said. That's, that's our most likely path to any possible victory. There's really no path to victory if we lose on Sunday. And I think that's why why Maurice pulled Lyon when he did. Okay, get Bob in there. And again, it's not about it being Lyon's fault, but you needed to get Bob a little bit of work. <sighs> All right. They gave us hope, and there's still hope. It's not over. It's not over. Okay. 
Boston is really good. And I, I don't understand. I, this is the last thing I'll say. I don't understand why the effort level just wasn't there. I don't understand how we could be in this position and we just beat them in Boston and the incredible momentum of that. And they're out Bergeron and Krejci is out. It was kind of like a game time decision type of thing where he was just suddenly we heard he was out. And you've got the home crowd, which was ass, by the way. I'm sorry if somebody went to the game and takes that personally, but I mean, the first two periods, I grasped the idea that they weren't giving you a lot to cheer about. But sometimes, you know, you, if you were at that game, you cannot complain about the energy that the players had because y'all didn't have it in the stands either. Okay? I heard maybe two weak-ass Let's Go Panthers chants before the third period. And that was it. Like, every once in a while, they'd get it going just a little bit and then it would die down within 20, 30 seconds. That's ass. That's embarrassing. And it makes the... It, it, what happens when people see that is that whole narrative about Panther fans, they don't have any fans and their fans suck and all of that. It makes us look bad. It, I, it pisses me off. Because we had just beaten Boston in Boston. That place should have been insane. Okay, have you seen how it is in Carolina, Vegas, the Garden? Those places are madhouses from the, from the beginning. You don't have to score a goal in Carolina for them to be going batshit crazy. They're just doing it the whole damn game. Pisses me off, man. It, I'm, I take it, I don't want to say I take it personally, but... I do a lot of defending of Panther fans in the comment sections of my videos over these years. And it, it irritates me when we get on this big stage against the best team ever. And twice in two periods we get a, let's go Panthers. And that, that, that fades out after 20 seconds. Come on now. We, can, we all have to do better than that. Okay? So nobody that was at the game, unless you were screaming your balls off, saying let's go Panthers and trying to get that chant going. Nobody at the game gets to complain about the energy of the players because Kachuk told you guys, hey, we need you. We, we, they, they've said it multiple times. They feed off the crowd. This isn't rocket science. So, yeah, the players need to do their part, but so do the fans because why else have home ice? Why not just play them all in Boston? So Sunday, come on now. Okay? Damn it. But that same that I bring that same energy to the players. Okay? I ain't saying anything to you guys. I wouldn't say to the damn players, you guys know that. Because Chuck was they did not have the energy tonight. And I know that I know that, that Boston's good and they can throttle you, but the vibe just wasn't there. They just didn't have the energy. The vibe just wasn't there. They just didn't have it. And this game three at home. It's the first night of your playoff. That's the first playoff game Kachuk played at home. And I wouldn't exactly call what he did out there on the ice ass tonight. But he got his ass handed to him. I'll put it that way. Alright. That's, that's enough. Oh my god. This team is going to just, when does football start? Hey, Don, when does football, what is it? It's April. It's still late. May, June, July, August. God damn. We got six months of this, Don. This team is, 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 what was the name of Steve Dangle's book? This team is ruining my life by something like that. I think my book's going to be, this team is killing me. And if you don't believe me, if you don't believe me, go watch some of my earlier videos. This was solid black. I, I didn't color my beard, by the way. If you go watch videos from the first few years of this channel, that wasn't, that wasn't beard color. That was my natural hair. 
and in just a few short seven years, it's not exactly short. <laughs> <laughs> oh look some of you may agree with me some of you may disagree with me but if in the end I'm the dude playing with puppets in my basement trying to make a living talking about this hockey team so Y'all have that. You can always just, anytime you get in an argument with me, you can say, well, look at what you do. And I don't have a comeback for that. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have a retort for that. Uh, all right. Let me go rescue poor Kyle from the stream. Because Stu wasn't there tonight. He was at the game, so he's not on the stream. So poor Kyle is having to deal with 75 disappointed. Well, 40, no, about 60 disappointed Panther fans and 10 gloating Bruins fans, and it was getting spicy. And you know, and that's the other thing in the chat, man. People get talking back and forth, and there's misunderstandings because you, you, you can't reply to somebody's comment. And, and the, so, so, like, if, if I say something and you want to reply to me, you have, to, you have to say, hey, you know. Jaws, I'm talking to you, and give me your reply. It won't, like, let you tag somebody on Twitter, so it gets, it gets confusing for people. All right. Stu and I be back in the morning. I'm sure you all just can't wait to hear what he has to say. And um, Kyle and I will be streaming the Toronto, the Toronto-Tampa Bay game tomorrow night. Again, I want to win Sunday. I really, really, that just, this one hurt, man. This one hurt. And, um, we keep the Lion King puppet. We we'll keep the Lion King puppet. If he moves on next year, we'll, we'll see about that. He doesn't have a voice. He can't talk. He doesn't say much. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the morning.